Today I would like to discuss a topic, Christ's power. As a Christian, we all believe that there is a power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. In the Old Testament, high priest sacrifice a lamb or a animal for the sins of the people. But in the New Testament, my Jesus Christ was standing as a lamb and sacrificed himself on the cross and forgive my sin. There is no more sacrifices only by the blood or just um, suffer, sacrificing with the blood only and final one was done by Jesus Christ and still we are free from that. So Jesus Christ, whoever following him, we have that double assurance there is a power in the blood of lamb or blood of Jesus Christ and there is a power in the name of Jesus. Even the people are in the deep bit of sin name of Jesus and blood of lamb can be saved from your deep problems and deep pit of sins and overcoming life so completely align and believe in God it's not a psychological motivation no never we completely believe in the blood of lamb and the power of Jesus Christ blindly as a fool and throw ourselves in this Calvary then we will save so I would like to discuss some of the points related to the Christ's power. The first one is saving. Isaiah 63 verses 1 says, Who is this that cometh from Edom with the dying garment, dyed garment from Bos Bosra? This is that inglorious in his appeal, traveling in the greatness of his strength, I that speak in righteousness mighty to save. Here, um, yeah, when we are uh, studying Isaiah, yes, yes, like first couple of chapter till 44, it's talking about Jesus Christ, and he is seeing that is glorious in his appear apparel and traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, might to save. So um, let us think, whoever listening this one, as a Christian or any other person, can you just divide what is called righteousness and what is the difference between righteousness and holy? If you say holy is overcoming the sin, then what is the righteousness? And what if you say righteousness is no don't doing sin, then what is the holiness? So there is a huge difference. And if you put some time on that one to meditate, that will be really good. And I will talk about that one later. So it's glorious greatness and righteousness speak about his power that's why that will save us from the sin and the second one is pardoning matthew 9 verse 6 says but that he may know that the son of man had a power on the earth for to forgive sin arise take up the bird and go unto thine house here we know the story about that a, a paralyzed man was staying near to the um, Pond and uh, angels coming and uh, uh, coming into the pond that time is whoever come to the pond the very first time he will be saved but Jesus Christ came to that person and there nearly 30 years was staying there and uh, Jesus uh, re uh, healed him and uh, but before Jesus want to establish that Jesus has a power to forgive sins if anyone desperately want to say I don't want to sin. Many people I ne uh, I heard that one. I will not do sin because they they think that their determination power or the will power they can do it. But we can't do it. I will never so do sin. That's uh, rubbish. Or instead of say I don't want to sin, God. So it, with that complete repentant heart, if you come to God, He can forgive our sin. That's the power of Christ. And the third one is it's infinite. Matthew 28 verses 18 says, And Jesus came and speak unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and earth. Even he is the Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and the end. He is the, the, the light which no one can come in. And he is the, the, the example. He is the final definition of glory. And is the King of King. And he is the salvation under the heaven above the earth. There is no other name for the salvation. He is the beginning and the end. In the Alpha and Omega. He can save your 
problem and if you are in a sick if you are in a desperate need he can deliver us from that one completely believe in the power of blood of lamb and also the name of jesus then he will set you free may god bless you amen